a Jamaica high to everybody on this earth. Yeah. Now, yesterday, I had the privilege of meeting this owner. Met the owner of this bar. I got the privilege to meet him yesterday. All right. There's supposed to be a party here, August 23rd. They're supposed to have been here August 2nd. Nice little place. I come here every day. So he built this by himself. I met him yesterday and I said, you know what, I went up to the police. I see him driving down the road, so I stopped him and said, hey, I want you to pass on a message to your boss. I said, tell him he's a piece of shit on earth. They all looked at me like, I said, yeah, he's just the biggest piece of shit on earth, man. The fucking worst human being could ever be born on this earth. Man, all the cops got pissed off, man. They started looking at each other, and I said, yes, this is what's going on. You just tell him. I was expecting to come up here August 2nd and go to the Black Beach, Black Sand Beach, and party. And you guys shut it down. But you didn't shut it down. You shut all of his goddamn parties down. I said, you guys are, tell your boss he's a piece of shit, all right? I said, you guys, are, matter of fact, are worthless, man. Well, what do you guys do now? Just drive around and harass people? And they all looked at each other. Man, they didn't know what to say to me. They're speechless. So I reached in my pocket and gave him a couple thousand dollars and said, here, you guys go buy you some drinks. But make sure you spread that message on to your boss about Black Sand Beach. But I told him a whole bunch of other things too. But... Hello. I told him, you know what guys? And it was on their holiday. Yeah, their 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 freedom holiday, like liberty, like what we celebrate our freedom for, you know, July Fourth, our freedom, Independence Day. Yeah, they're celebrating their Independence Day, and I laughed at the cops, the police, said, you know what, you motherfuckers. I said, you guys are owned by the Queen of England still, believe it or not. You guys are out there celebrating a worthless holiday for nothing. The main cop, the main honcho, turned around and says, yeah, that guy's right. He's right. Looked at everybody and they just all looked at me. <laughs> but that's not the reason why I made this video. Hell no, man. You know, a friend came over today and invited me for dinner. And uh, he looked and he goes, man, you, you got a lock on your water drum. Ha, 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 ha. I said, yeah, I got like one third of my water ripped off. And he just started laughing. He just, he goes, yeah, when there's a water shortage, people are going to steal your water. When there's a food shortage, people are going to come and steal your food. Ha, <laughs> just laughed I said yep that's true and not obey today is August 19th 2015 there is a 20th hell I don't know what day it is I don't know what day it is right I I think it might be a Wednesday, though.
para you know what you don't ever go in a bar you just stay out of the bars in Jamaica you just too expensive people drink your wallet dry and spit you out on the street when it's all done you just stay out of the bars and I got seven dollars to my name I think I have seven days to go and today's the 19th so I got seven days to go but I won't be able to get paid then I gotta buy an airline ticket back to Mexico and upload these videos so when you start seeing my videos, you'll know I've been in Mexico for a little while. Did I have fun in Jamaica? Well, see my last video. It just, things get better every day. But if you don't have no money, you just gotta, you gotta lay low in life. And I got a long trip tomorrow, I'm gonna spend a couple thousand tomorrow. Pick up one marijuana plant. Not worth it, but I think it'd be worth it to smoke it the rest of the two weeks I'm on out here in Jamaica. But yeah, don't come to Anato Bay, alright? Stay the fuck far away from it. Now there's Robin's Bay. There's Strawberry Fields. They're two resorts. Very expensive. 800 Jamaican dollars there. Probably about uh, 135 there. Probably even more. And then you're coming down, you just get robbed. Everything overpriced. Two hundred dollars for a pound of carrots. Two hundred Jamaican dollars for a pound of potatoes. Is that about a dollar eighty a pound? Ouch! That's fucking expensive, people. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start cooking out. I wish I had my Mexican beans, what I eat every day in Mexico, I'd be happy. There's no mixed beans here, it's just these peas, okay everybody? And whoever stolen my seeds from me, man, they a happy camper. They are really happy. You know it's weird. I hang around this guy and he takes me everywhere. Pay him some money. You know what? Uh, he's a good guy. I'll, I'll mention his name if you ever come to Nato Bay. His name is Bobby. But he has no access to any of my shit. He's just babbling on, and I can't even understand him. But I heard him talking to his friends saying, yeah, I'm gonna go pick up some seeds at the post office tomorrow, and has different melons, and different tomatoes, and different chili peppers, and he's describing my seeds. But you couldn't stole my stuff. Possible. Well, until next video, I just wanted to. Oh, I'll finish the video, okay? That I started at the beginning. Now, I met this owner of this bar, okay? And I said, What you need to do tomorrow? Go get a lawyer. 
and say, I want to throw a lawsuit against uh, the commissioner and the, the committee and, you know, the conference, business conference, that the police department, whoever else shut down this place. And I said, you sue them for the day that you lost because you bought a lot of bands. You, had a, you lost thousands of, hundreds of thousands of Jamaican dollars. Didn't you not? And he goes, yeah, I did. Go sue them for all that. You have receipts. Go sue them. Sue the fuck out of them. And then this August 22nd that's coming up, he goes, nah, man, it's been postponed. And I said, I know, but sue the fuck out of them for that, too. And tell them the next party that you have, if it's still shut down, you're going to sue the fuck out of them for that investment, too. Because you lost a lot of money for printing all these ads bands to show up, you had to give them money up front. I said, do that for me, will you? He goes, I will. I said, yeah, that's the only way you're going to get your bar back open. Well, I hope you enjoyed that one video. But stay away from bars, okay? Yeah, it's the best thing to do. All right come around when they've been shut down. <laughs> I wonder if they had a lot of complaints about the bartenders ripping them all off like all the other bars. Something to think about.